one end from the ground input from the floor to the actual floor pixel here. The rest is just uh, jumper cable, jumper wire, and it's it looks kind of goofy right now, but sewing it in afterwards would actually make it look a lot smoother. But without further ado, give it one second. Okay. Again, it's a little bit loose just because the, the jumper wires are not actually very smoothly tight into actual the inputs and outputs of the Flora Pixel itself or the Flora circuit board and the actual Flora Pixel in the middle and the Neo Pixel ring with uh, conductive thread like this over here. I can wrap it around many times each one of those inputs, outputs, grounds and uh, power uh, circuit entries so then that way it can actually look um, a lot more tighter, it'll be a lot more um, rigid, it won't be kind of hanging loose like this and at the same time it'll be a lot more uh, consistent in terms of just getting, making sure that the power goes through all the circuits and does whatever it wants to do. So just kind of like I did before, I just did a little small programming here where I'm just having it shift between a few colors of the pixel ring and the actual floral pixel itself and it's just kind of doing a slight fade, dimming and uh, going in and out. If I do this without the lights, you can kind of see exactly what's going on. So uh, right now I have this kind of connected to a glove. Again, something like this can be connected anywhere. It almost has kind of that Iron Man type look. But um, just something I did uh, within an hour just playing around at home. And I uh, could definitely do some more stuff with this. So just thought I'd show you guys.